was discuss recently, you know, a rap legend, DMX, passed away. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have mixed, yeah, it's rest in peace. A lot of people have mixed reactions of, you know, what they believe of how he passed away, uh, you know, the technicalities to, 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 to behind all that. And I just want to you guys take on what you guys think and, you know, what you think of also that this month, which is coincidence, that he passes away and this month he has his album coming out real soon. So what you guys think? Uh, Stealth, you could take it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't even know how to get into this because I have, I believe in a lot of stuff that I know millions of other people believe too. Uh, and it, it goes into the whole quote unquote conspiracy theories on stuff, but uh, I just feel it's just too coincidental, too coincidental. He... He fell off. He was like one of the top artists of all time at one point. Then he fell off. Then when he started fixing, you know, trying to fix his life, his lifestyle, um, and get back into the business as far as, you know, doing movies again and doing music and all this stuff, this happens. He passes away. At the same time, his album, he was working on his album and his album comes out. Ah, I don't know how to, I don't know what to make of it, but I've heard from other sources, he didn't pass from a drug overdose. I heard from other sources, he didn't pass from a drug overdose. He passed away from other reasons they say some people, some sources say he passed from the jab. He passed from that. Some people say he passed from a heart attack. Some people say he passed from the drug overdose. Some people, it's a lot of theories going around, but I personally don't think he passed away from drug overdose. You know how many years he's been doing it? Like, and he's done it for years, like very hard. You see him go from very bony, skinny, DMX to where he was before he passed away, all chunky and healthy looking. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't believe the whole, I don't believe it. I don't believe he passed away the way they say he passed. But that's my opinion. People have their other, their opinion. I don't know. I want to get his album. He was one of my favorite rappers of all time. I know uh, so much of his damn music. Like he was one of my favorite rappers of all time. I had that one, that one hurt me when I heard the news that he passed away. That one really hurt me. It was like, wow, like that, that really hurt. Cause that was someone I grew up listening to. So that one really hurt me. And I, I wanted to shed a tear so bad, but I mean, this part of life. People go, people come and go, you know, I. My prayers go out to his family and his fans and everyone who loved him and was close to him. But he was one of my favorite. I, I would like to hear his new album too when it when it drops. You know? Oh, uh, I don't even know where to start. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start by saying um, my condolences to his family and to his fans. Yes. And um that was a very big loss in hip hop. Um mm -hmm. I was a huge fan of DMX. Mm -hmm. Like um I remember both his albums when they both dropped and they both went platinum. He's probably I think the only rapper in history to go platinum back to back in a year, in a year's within a year's time. He actually did that. He went platinum both times and I had both those albums. I had them on cassette. Mm -hmm. Um Honestly, the way he died, I feel that demons did kill him. I feel I feel like um what what he smoked was laced with um with, I forgot what the compound is, but it's been killing a lot of people out here. Um 
What's I forgot what it is. Fentanyl or something like that. Fent- there it goes. Bingo. That's what it is. Because his fentanyl. autopsy read that it was it was crack, cocaine, and fentanyl. And they've been lacing drugs out here with that crap. They've been cutting it. I guess they've they've been paying so much to buy the or purchase the drug and they cut it with garbage, you know, and then they just give it to people. They do that with heroin, they do it with meth, then they do it with crack yeah. cocaine. Um yeah. yes, he's been he was partying for like hard for years, but like if you look at if you look at everybody that's ever lived that lifestyle, those people don't last long anyways. You know, I mean, look, Gangster New Jack, he didn't even make it to 60. And he, and he pretty much did the same thing. But he didn't smoke it. He sniffed it. You know what I'm saying? But he was he was hardcore living. Like, that that lifestyle will put a, a take a toll on you. It's going to, especially cardiac-wise, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do something, something bad to your heart. You know, like, you can't, you can't, that lifestyle is there not, was, uh... you can't live like that for the rest of your life. You know, you're there was not going to make it to rapper, 60. You're not going to make it to name. 70. There was an old school rapper, I forgot his name, but he said he knew DMX for so long and years, and he's been doing, he's been doing drug, same drugs and other drugs too, and he's still living now, and he's way older, way older than DMX. I forgot the so, rapper's name. He's like an old school rapper. So he's probably really one cool. of one of the few that got lucky, you know. <laughs> but these people don't; those type of people don't last long. Yeah. Nine out of ten know. times these people die. You know what I'm saying? And they die bad deaths. And honestly, like I don't I don't ever want to think about that as his legacy, just you know, just a drug oh, addict. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His, his legacy Definitely. was much bigger than that. Like Definitely. It was the but most it's living, just demons that living, just took man. over it. It overtook his it overtook his life. You know? He was one of the realest rappers of all time. The realest guys i guess human beings yeah yeah, absolutely yeah when you lose a real one like that it hits you it hits a lot of people like he was one of the real ones um can't duplicate (laughs) dmx you know you guys gotta also remember too that uh not just only with his death and the coincidence of you know his album coming out you think about it the album's gonna blow up because you know with the death most people famous people that die you know when they're at the lowest and they die everything that they did recently just blows up from there Mm -hmm. but it's just the coincidence exactly it's the coincidence and the timing of the deaths of these people yeah, there you go. Also, yeah. Exactly. So it's like, you know, it's not like a normal freaking Joe like us that, you know, we die, we die. There ain't no freaking album that's coming out. There ain't no movie or trailer or some freaking <laughs> sex tape <laughs> on the side. It's just basically. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if you scumbags enjoyed what you watch, Hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe so that you get all of this heavenly glory. And oh, and remember that the truth is rich.